In this video, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to get a U.S. Postal Service P.O. Box online with a real physical address. This is very useful if you have an online business such as a blogger, YouTuber, Amazon, FBA, or eBayer. I'm going to give you guys all the details right here in the video. Welcome back to my channel, guys. My name is Jim Income, and I create videos on how to make money online. And if you subscribe right now and hit the bell notification, I will send you a notification and an update whenever I create new videos so you guys don't miss anything. Also, I'm still trying to get 100 YouTube subscribers. So if you hit the subscribe button, I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Now, let's get back to the video. Also, guys, in the description below, I'm going to have links to everything that I mentioned here. So be sure to check it out. Okay, so the first thing is why do we want to get a P.O. box? So there's three main reasons. The first one is security. That means you'll be able to get mail to a P.O. box or the post office physical address and you don't have to use your house. So that way your business, you can keep it separate from your home address. Second reason is for privacy. So when you are uh, have an online business like me, you will be signing up with a lot of affiliate offers. So you have to put in your name, your company name, and an address. So a lot of these companies, you don't. Sometimes you might not know if they're legitimate or if it's a company that you want to stay with long term or not. So that's why you want a, a PO box or use the post office address to sign up for these offers. The PO box, um, you'll be able to keep it separate from your home business. Okay. The third reason is it's going to be very convenient for you to have a PO box. You'll be able to subscribe for like a few months, three months, or six months, or even. 12 months and you'll be able to keep that box and that box is accessible 24 hours a day now the post office usually close around 4 or 5 p.m your local time but your p.o box is always open because you go to the post office you just the first set of doors is always open and then you can access your post office box in this area it's going to have security cameras and it's going to be well lit so it's a pretty well lit and uh, safe area that, then to go into the actual post office counters that's going to be closed off um, after hours but you have access to your post office all the time so those are the uh, three main reasons why you want a p.o box i do have a link to the faqs for a p.o box so if you look in the description below you'll find that link and it's going to take you to this uh, website here so go ahead and look over these uh, faqs and you'll see uh, just some of the common questions that people have as far as you know what is a post office box how do you get one the steps just various things you know who's eligible to get a free p.o box because if you live in a, in a rural place, supposedly if the post office is very far, you might be eligible to get a free post office box. Also, there's a FAQs for managed post office box. You can look over some of these FAQs when you have some time. Also some payment questions. So I can go over some of this. Basically for the payment options, to subscribe to post office box, you need to subscribe for a minimum of three months. Uh, or if you don't want to do three months you can do six months or one year obviously the longer the term the cheaper it's going to be so these are the faqs um, feel free to glance over it just so you, you can get a good idea of some common questions that people have asked okay step number one is to find a post office in your area that you want and see how much it costs okay so to find the post office what you're going to do is go to quick links here and then just click on rent and renew a P.O. box. It's going to take you to this screen and here is where you can put in your zip code or just the city to find a post office in your area and to see how much it costs and the availability. So you need to find a post office that is convenient for you. So what you're going to do is you're going to just put in the city here. For this example, I'm going to type in Los Angeles. So I'll type in Los Angeles here and it's going to give you uh, all the post office that are available in your area. What you want is you want a a post office or a PO box that comes over where it says premium PO box services. Now premium PO box services is what's going to give you that real physical address that you want. So instead of saying a PO box and, and then a certain number, you know, that will work. You still can use the PO box, but as an alternative, you'll be able to use the post office address and then put a pound sign at the end and then put your box number. So the post office address, a pound sign, and then a number. So, so that way um, you can get packages from uh, UPS, from FedEx. Okay, so I'll just pick um, the first one that comes up here. If you click here where it says premium post office services, you'll be able to uh, see the extras that you'll get. Now these are absolutely free services that come. And the first line that you see right here, it says your PO box will come with a real street address. So you can order online and receive packages from any shipper. 
So that means you'll be able to have a real street address that you can use online. You can use it for package delivery, for mail, for signing up for affiliate offers, from registering your website, just things like that. So after you click on the post office box, it's going to give you the, um, the different sizes that are available and how much it costs. I suggest you browse around. Um, what I've seen is the post office boxes that are like further away from downtown, slightly cheaper. So for Los Angeles, first one here is a small one. You see it says 3 inches by 5 inches. How big is that? Well, basically um, 3 inch by 5 inch is just going to be the size of this like cell phone here. It's just slightly smaller. So it's going to fit um, quite a bit of letter mail. And for packages, you don't have to worry about it. They're going to give you a package delivery notice and then you'll be able to pick up your package at the counter. But for small packages or for small little items, they will put in the little PO box. So in this example, the smallest one, is gonna be about, you see $39 for three months. So that's the equivalent of like $13 a month. And uh, this feed, it doesn't have any taxes. So this is the flat rate that you're getting. Now, if you buy the 12 month plan, it comes with um, the baker's dozen where you get like one extra month. So. So this is a good option too. What I recommend is you sign up for like the six months. This just depends on your uh, situation. Just go ahead and, and, and select this and then you're going to hit reserve now. And when you reserve now, you will need to create a USPS account online. So once you click reserve now, it's going to take you to this screen where you'll be able to sign on with your USPS account. Now, if you don't have one, you know, if you're new right here, it just says you can go ahead and create one and you'll be able to manage your PO boxes. Signing up is absolutely free. So I, I suggest you go ahead and do that. Now as an alternative to reserving a PO box, a better alternative, which I recommend is signing up for something called a virtual mailbox. So a virtual mailbox, I'll go ahead and put a link in the description below to a virtual mailbox. It's a much cheaper, it starts um, at $6.99, but you should average around $10 a month and they'll let you receive like i think up to 30 letters and they'll open and scan the mail for you and basically what it is is if you drive around town there's a bunch of these post office shipping stations like mailbox etc or postnet so they operate these virtual boxes and they it's similar to a p.o box but it is not operated by the usps so it's more like a a private sector kind of virtual mailbox it's much cheaper and the good thing about that is you don't have to ever go get your mail. They'll scan your mail for you. They'll be able to forward the mail to you if you really want a copy of it. Then after they scan your mail, if you don't want them to keep it or forward it to you, you can just tell them to go ahead and throw it away or they can shred it for you. I think the virtual mailbox is a much better feature or a much better option because you know it goes anywhere and you can have it in any state. With a post office box, um, you sort of have to be near the post office box for it to be convenient because if you move to a different state, then you're gonna have to get a new post office box in that state. Yeah, virtual mailbox is uh, another alternative. I'll go ahead and put a link in the description below so that way you guys can check it out. So after you click on reserve a mailbox and you sign up with, sign in with your USPS account, it's gonna take you to the steps here. Now, I, I cannot sh show you all these details because Here's where you'll be able to put in your personal information, your company name, if this is for like an online online company, if you're a blogger, or if you're a YouTuber, that's where you put your your YouTuber name or your, your blog name. And here is, you just go ahead and pick the option that you want and put in your credit card information. And what it's gonna do is, it's actually gonna build your credit card. Now get this, after they build your credit card, they don't assign you a post office box yet you actually have to complete a form and then take it to the post office so that way they'll give you your keys and that's when they assign you a post office box. Now after you make the payment, you have 30 days. So 30 days to, to change your mind. You can come back to this website here within 30 days and hit cancel and they'll give you a full refund. Also, if you don't go pick up your post office keys within 30 days, they'll also give you a full refund. So if you change your mind and you haven't gotten your keys yet, then you're eligible for a full refund. Now for this, like the six month plan, I think if you get gotten your keys already, but you, then you change your mind after two months, they'll give you 50% um, of the refund. So they'll give you like three months refund back in case you change your mind or if you want to use a virtual mailbox at that point. Okay, so we're almost done. So now that you have paid for your post office box, um, it's going to give you a link to this page here. This is the USPS. Uh, form 1093. Basically, this is the form that you need to fill out on your computer and then print it out and then take this form and go to your post office box to get your keys. 
Now, if you don't have a printer, it's, it's no big deal. You don't have to print out this form. Um, I know my local post office box, they have this form so you can fill it out manually once you get there. But let me go over the important things on, on this. And the most important thing is your photo ID options. So you want to look closely at this to have a valid driver's license or state non-driver's license ID card. So you need to have a photo uh, government issue ID and you need two valid forms. So you go ahead and pick, if you have two government IDs, that would be perfect. Another valid option is passport passport card, your alien card, or certificate of naturalization. For the non-photo option, um, you can have one non-photo option. That would be your current lease, your mortgage, your deed, your vehicle registration, your home and vehicle security. And keep in mind for these photo ID or non-photo ID options, it does need to have your current address on there and it has to match with whatever you put in. So here is the rest of the form here, as you can see, it's not too much to it. Feel free to pause the video if you wanna check out this form or you can check the link in the description for a link to this form also. So after you fill out this form, all you have to do is take this completed form and go to your post office during business hours and then you'll be able to pick up your, your keys. And then you're all set. You will have your post office box now and then you can start using it. What I recommend is you check your post office box you know, it just depends on how often you get mail. I would check it maybe once or twice a month. And then after you've been using your post office box for a little while, for a month or two, then decide if you want, want to keep it, if you want to, if you need a bigger box, or if you want to try a virtual mailbox. They have a, have a link in the description below for that if you want to check it out too. I hope you guys find this video useful to get your own PO box. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification and I'll send you a notification whenever I create a new video so that way you guys don't miss anything. To make even more money online, check out these recommended videos up here. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video.